Right, what's up everybody? So you have a dash cam and it's recording in, you know, one minute to maybe two, three, maybe even five minute intervals, but you would like to just have a way to easily just put everything together, just stitch it all up. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, I am on Linux. A lot of these FFmpeg commands should still work on Windows. Um, however, making the, the, the text file and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know how, how you'd do that, um, how you'd automate that on Windows, but um, yeah, you could give it a go. And uh, most, of, like I say, most of the FFMP commands should work just fine on Windows, but I'm on Linux, so let's get into it. Okay, so here I'm on my desktop. Uh, I have my file browser open here. I have here some, some files from the other day um, that I grabbed from my dash cam. Now, I currently have it sorted according to this, but we're not going to really do much of these things manually. The main thing is that you want for this is you want all the files. Your dash cam should name it in a way that it would, you know, keep it in the correct order, you know, time wise, date wise, all that fun stuff. Um, and then we want to make a list to tell FFmpeg um, which files to essentially stitch together or con concatenate is the word, I believe. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open a terminal in this in this folder right here, okay? And then we're going to get into some commands. Now, I always try and get the computer to do like the hard work for me, and I am getting better at that. So someone watching this, an experienced Linux user, might say, "Oh, there's so much better ways you could do this. You could write a script and." Uh, so by all means, please give that your solution down in the comments. Um, but my solution is as follows. I first start by using ls to type out a list. That's a wee bit bigger to type out a, a list. But we are actually going to, oh, I was in the wrong, I was on the wrong window. There we go. Uh, we're actually going to um, write not just ls, we're actually going to use this to output a text file. So I want all the file names that end with .ts. Now, .ts is what my dash cam um, has on its memory card right away. If you copy it over to your phone using, again, my dash cam, it does actually put it in an MP4 container. Um, but regardless, you want to match your file, file type here. The star will simply just say you you list everything and you don't care about how, how it starts really. As long as it ends with .ts, you're going to list all those things, okay? The reason why I do this explicitly is in case there are some other types of files in this document or in this folder, um, then we won't have that on our list. We'll only have the files we want. Okay, so that's that. And then we have these this uh, operand here, this double uh, what's it called? Um, I forget what the actual name is for that operand. Um, that says output. So we're going to take ls's output and actually put it into a, a, a file. So list.txt. You can name this whatever you want. Um, I just use it because then I just just always use it. Um, it you know, because we're going to use that list.txt in our uh, fmpeg commands later. So you press that button and now you'll see behind the, on the window it created a list. Now here's a little bit of manual intervention and again you could probably write a bash script to do this for you uh, using all sorts of commands but what you'll see is it's created a, a simple list on each line there is the name of each file. We actually needed to look something more along the lines of, uh, did I just say that? Oh, oh dear. Anyways, doesn't really matter. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say open with code SS. You can use whichever text editor you want. I just find code SS is a little bit easier to use. Um, I am going to trust this window. So now what I'm going to do is try and remember what was it? Was it shift alt? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to say shift and alt together and then my down key that creates um, the multiple cursors for me to type. I'm going to say file space single open quote Then you want to go all the way to the back and close that quote. That is what we want our 
uh, text file to look like. So I'm going to save it now. I nearly pressed con <laughs> control O. Um, I'm used to working with nano uh, a lot of times as well. Let's see. So I'm just going to save that. Close it. Now, if we look at the list, it, it is in the format. You want this file descriptor because that tells FFmpeg you're going to take this file. Okay, I don't know why FFmpeg can't just read the name. Um, why it needs that specific format, I don't know. But now most of the hard work is done. The next one you want to do then is you go back to your terminal window. Uh, we're going to use a command that's now going to concatenate everything together. So FFmpeg. And then let me just minimize that uh, window at the back, then you can see a little bit better. FFmpeg uh, space dash f space concat. That's for concatenation. Concatenation. And then we also have the input. So dash i is for input file. And here's where we're going to tell it to use a list dot text. So it's going to look at that text document and use all the files in that list makes sense then i don't want audio on mine if you want to keep your audio leave this little bit out but dash a n will take the audio and just wipe it out it'll just completely not use the audio at all so you'll end up with a, just a video file with no audio so again leave that out if you want your audio um, then we're going to go codec for video dash c is codec and then for video, VV for video, uh, and we're just going to use the copy codec because I don't actually want to transcribe this into anything at the moment. I just, I don't mind keeping the format the same. I just wanted all the little files into one big file. So you can click play and it just codes. You can always convert it into a, a different format later, but that can take quite a while. Copy very quickly. Um, and then you tell it what you want it to be called. So I'm just going to here say merged dot ts. You do want to match the file type um, with your file here. So ts input, ts output. Um, otherwise, it might give you an error saying that copy can't be used to transcode or whatever the case may be. So you just want to match this. So we press enter. And it's doing something you can see the speed there um it's anywhere between 70 to 100 times oh we actually dropped into the 60s there 59 uh, so that's the the time if you know how long your videos in total would be you can keep track on the time there and that should give you a rough idea of how long it's still going to take um but we'll just wait for this to finish and i'll skip ahead to when it's done hey look it's done okay that didn't take too long because i didn't have too many files but this works for a lot of files as well okay and now if we just ls this folder you can see i've got all the original files there i've got the list and i've also got my merged if i open the folder browser you can see i have the merged.ts and all my videos all those videos are now merged into one so there we go you can now see it's playing i've got a total of 24 minutes um in here this was just a trip we took uh, to durban north the other day um so this is the n2 yeah this is the n2 uh, here in kzn and some other roads leading up to durban north but yeah so it works there we go guys um if you found this video helpful please do leave a like and a comment below. If you have a easier script that can just automate the entire process, uh, please feel free to write that below. That is a project that I will definitely be working on so that I can just run one thing and it just does everything for me. Um, I just haven't had the time to really sit down and fiddle with that. Um, but yeah, cool. Bye.